You'll notice this says Tesoro OpenStack dashboard. We've kind of packaged Horizon and Trove together, so Horizon includes the Trove dashboard. Um, and Trove is the Juno release as it exists now, so it includes replication. So I just want to go through that, so let's just go here. So we're just going to sign into Horizon. And I'm going to take you through, um, hopefully you'll recognize some of the dashboard components. We're going to go into the Trove dashboard, which is under the database project. So basically, here's the instances panel. So I have no instances at this moment. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to launch an instance. And with the magic of video, the instance comes up obscenely fast. <laughs> so I'm going to launch a master. I'm going to pick a flavor. So I've created a specific flavor called dbass.m1.tiny, which is basically, I think, 512 megabyte one uh, five gigabyte um, uh, a volume, and you'll notice I'm going to do my SQL 5.5. I'm also going to provide a database and an admin user so that I can, after this launches, connect to it and do some things on there that actually prove to you that replication is actually working. So here we go. We're going to make test DB. I'm going to make a test user, and then I'm going to push the launch button here. It'll pop back to the panel and it will launch radically fast. So there it is, it's up. So now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna actually, um, so now that it's running, I can click on the link to the instance and it'll show me some details about the instance. For most people, probably the most important detail is the actual locator info to tell you how to connect to the thing. So that's there at the bottom, so it says it's on 10.002, because I didn't use the uh, DNS designate feature, so I don't have a host name. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is I'm just showing that, okay, so I have my users and I have my databases there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to PHP my admin to populate the database so that when we make the slave, you can actually see that I didn't lie and it actually created a snapshot and replicated. So here we go. So this isn't software that, that we wrote. This is some other community. So I'm just going to pull up a schema file that I, cre that I have from some previous life and load it into the database here. And the most important part here is to see this data. It's got all my friend's name in there and their credit limit. <laughs> OK, so now, so now what I've done, so I've created a master. I connected to it with a uh, an application effectively, PHP my admin, I loaded a schema and data into it. And now what I want to do is I want to create a read slave, a read replica. So what I'm going to do is go back into our Trove dashboard, and I'm going to launch another instance, but this time I can launch it as a, as a slave. So similar, I pick a name for it, I'm going to call it my slave, I pick the flavor, I'm going to use the same flavor. It's my SQL. This time I go into the advanced tab, and now magically under this replicate from instance drop down, my master shows up there. I pick that and hit launch. So you can see what it's going to do. The master instance will actually go into backup state. So it's doing a snapshot of that instance right now. Then it's going to put the master back active and basically build out the slave by um, applying that snapshot and then turning on, doing all the necessary replication configuration. So now both those are active. So what we can do is go actually interrogate them with the, uh, sh click on them and do the show command to see what their details are. Come on, here we go. So you'll see now at the bottom of the show information below the connect info is this slave of replication which provides a link back to the master. So I clicked on that link and it takes me to the master details and you'll see now under the master, it shows that there's a slave. And I didn't do this in this demo, but if there was more than one slave, they would all be listed down there at the bottom. So I go back to the slave, and I just wanted to show, so that you can see that the, the users and the databases that were on the master are now present here, and I didn't create those ahead of time. They were, came over from the snapshot. And I'm gonna run my application here, PHP my admin, and I'm gonna go into the slave. 
and check to see if my customer demo schema loaded there. So there's my test database. And I'm gonna check this customer table and what do you think's gonna happen? Is there gonna be any data in it? <laughs> there you go. Okay, so that's to show that the, um, the setup of replication successfully concluded. So the snapshot came over and we now have a slave starting on the snapshot. So the next thing I wanted to do was actually show you that replication is active. So I'm gonna change some data. I'm gonna connect back to the master and, and um, with PHP my admin. And I'm just gonna go back into that customer demo table and it, it really isn't correct that my credit limit is lower than all these other guys, so I'm gonna make it higher. <laughs> So let's just do that. I'm gonna just use PHP my admin to edit my credit limit to 5,000, which is still too low, but anyway. And do that update on the master. And then what we're gonna do is connect back over to the slave. And assuming all the stars lined up, the data should be there. All the stars line up or the video worked, either one. So there it is. Ooh. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'll show you the, the status checking. So the, the status, uh, the two things that, that are being checked are whether replication is delayed. What I'm gonna demo here is that what occurs to the status when um, the master goes away, or there's a network hiccup or whatever. And I'm gonna simulate that by basically, I can, I'm gonna connect to the master and, and basically stop the MySQL service. Okay, so that's what I just did here. So I connected to the master, stop MySQL. And what you'll see in the Trove dashboard is basically the, the slave shows as detached. And it'll stay there spinning like that until it gets connection again. And you can see also the master is shut down. So I'm gonna just go back into my master, start my SQL back up again. And the slave will reconnect its replication and the status will get updated to uh, active again. And then the next thing I wanted to show was the uh, detach. So this would be where you decide for some reason that you don't want the slave to be a slave anymore. You can actually disconnect the replication and effectively promote it to being a master if you like. So here it is, detach. Confirm and then it'll basically. Now the status, I, I think this is something we're talking about in the community, this, like the status of active, so you can't tell on this panel whether the slave is a slave at that moment, right? So I think there's some discussion going on about whether we should change that. But if you drill into the instance through the link, you can actually see that the replication slave of information is now gone. It's, it's no longer connected to the master, it's not a slave. And the master doesn't show it either. <laughs> 